Good afternoon, everyone. Virgo here. It is July 14th, 2020. I have an update for you on the Court of Common Pleas of Delaware County for Sharon Tracy Gale, her criminal docket. Okay, uh, just so that you guys are aware, this is just going to be real quick. So there was a motions hearing today at 9.30 a.m. in which the uh, motions that were presided over were these latest ones that had been submitted by Sharon herself. Uh, as you can see here, they were the, in the case correspondence, Roman canon law, rights that cannot be taken away, and general civil orders. Those were clearly denied. How do we know this? Because Sharon is still incarcerated. Um, we have a new trial hearing that is... Uh, what we have actually been waiting for. It is coming up here on the 6th of October at 9.30 a.m. in Judge Richard M. Capelli's courtroom. That has been scheduled. Um, so at this point, we are at a standstill until October 6th on Sharon Tracy Gale. And uh, as we can see, uh, Nobel L's request of Mr. Trump that you see on your screen right now, where she commands and demands that uh, Sharon is released, along with DeCorey Pitts, uh, didn't seem to work for her. I would imagine it's for two different reasons. Uh, one, because they are guilty. Uh, clearly, DeCorey Pitts has already been found guilty, and uh, Sharon's is basically just a formality at this point. Uh, two... <laughs> <laughs> because Donald Trump can't do anything about state laws. Uh, so if someone is found guilty in a state, in a state court, under a state court, um, there's not a damn thing that POTUS can do. It has to be federal for someone to be pardoned. But Noble L does not know that. All right, everyone, uh, for those of you that want to look at this for yourself, the link will be in the description to the docket. And I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.